So we're going to have a look at this piece of steel and uh, this has been bandsaw cut and as you can see the faces aren't square to each other so what we need to do is square this piece of stock up before we can actually start to machine it you know to what we actually want it for. So I'll show you the, the squareness so the, the bandsaw faces aren't too bad but as you can see where the mill scale is we are out of square uh, if I can show you that it might be easier on this face, oh here you can see on that face there and this face is out of square as well uh, yeah so as you can see there look it's out of square as well so what I'll do, we'll go over to the mill and I'll show you how we square that so that all the faces are um, square to each other and we're going to be using a piece of TIG wire, aluminium TIG wire right first things first before we do any work on the miller machine we need to make sure that all the faces are clean of any debris or any swarf and then what we're going to do, we're just going to use a single straight um, parallel and what we want to do is to, we know that um, the, the bandsaw faces, although they're not you know perfect, they're not too bad. So what we'll do, we'll start off that with that face first. So if I was just to clamp this like that, as you can see, it's going to push it out of square. So what's happening in effect is that when I clamp it and this this jaw hits the workpiece, it's either going to force this down or it's going to force the bottom out because the piece, you know, that the sides aren't parallel to each other. So to get over that problem, we put in a piece of aluminium TIG wire. Tighten it up. So now we know that this back face is square um, to the to the the Milliman machine itself and the front face is now resting on this piece of TIG wire. So that's not going to force it to lean over at all it's just going to sit square against this back face so now we can square this face off um, I'm going to fly cut this face and then we can you know continuously turn the piece over until we get every side square to each other That's the first face done, so we'll just take this out of the mill and as you can see we've now got a nice smooth finish on there. But what it has done, because the fly cutter is going around in a clockwise um, orientation, it's now left a bit of a burr on the back here. So what we'll do, we'll just run a file over that just to take that burr off and then we can flick the part over and then we can machine the next face. So the same again, we've got a single parallel, push the part up and we'll put the piece of TIG wire in here and we'll nip that up. We'll just make sure it's all flat. Right, so that's the next piece ready to machine. So just bring the cutter down and away we go on the second cut. And we'll just take the burrs off and then that's that piece 
ready to uh, machine to size you know to what we actually need so all shut sides will be square and I'll show you those now here's our part all finished all nice and square and it's ready to uh, machine to size now so um, I'll just show you around the part so here you see that this pretty much perfectly flat in all directions and we'll have a measure as well just make sure the edges are clean so we'll take our first measurement I'm just trying to do this over the top of the camera so you just have to bear with me and so let's get our smallest number which we can find on here which is 27.57 millimeters and 27.58 so I'm happy with that and we'll check the other end just out of interest 27.59 27.59 so and on the wide faces itself we'll have a look at those as well so we've got 35.1 35.15 so that's good and the other end 35.16 35.14 well look oh, I might be a bit less no 16 so yeah so you know pretty accurate so um that's it for this video.